Hey guys, it's Evil Anarchy and welcome back to another vlog. Today we're at Seagraph. This is like a big tech animation convention. It's really famous in the tech area. There's a lot of really cool things here at this convention. I'm checking out this software company called Movin. They're doing like motion capture for like games or something. I don't really know. They said their software was originally developed with VTubers in mind since they're from Korea and they're in that general vicinity where VTubers are really, really popular. This was some really interesting software. It was capturing his foot movements, his arm movements. It was pretty advanced. After that, I checked out the Animation Magazine booth. I talked to them about their summit that they're going to have coming up. It's a little too pricey for me to go, and there's not really anything for me to vlog. Would still be really cool to go, but I definitely had to cop one of the free magazines here because they had a Seagraph edition, which was basically just a cover glued onto their cover for their current month, which is just kind of silly. But that's the usual in magazine. This is a live drawing session going on. I don't remember the name of this booth, but this was really cool. They're using some software. This was all for his software. So everyone here is trying to show off some type of software. Here's me looking at some more software. This company specializes in materials and 3d models optimization for like ar it was pretty weird and then i'm not too sure what this was but i think they were looking at 3d images this guy had some really advanced motion capture for his face going on you can't really see it on the screen here but it was capturing all of his mouth movements like so good in the back of the convention in the back corner i should say they had a little section dedicated to weird experiences for future of tech and it was all like handmade stuff and it was all people from overseas like you could see something in vr and touch it and it was really weird then they had this suit but yeah just in general there's a lot of people able to get one-on-one -on -one time with the companies and studios that come to seagraph which is such a really cool thing to be able to do they're not really like a consumer level event so it's you know pretty empty compared to like a normal convention but I'm showing these teapots again because this is what Seagraph is famous for. They're famous for giving these out every year. I didn't get one this year. They have a whole bunch. This is the museum of them. They give these away because the teapot was one of the first things modeled in 3D. And these are made for Pixar's RenderMan. This is the software that Pixar uses. And yeah, it's just sort of like what they're known to give away. Uh, this line here is all for Riot Games. This is crazy. Everyone wanted to come up to the Riot Games booth. You get a free sticker if you visit them. So I just swiped one <laughs> without waiting in line. I'm not looking for a job, so it's no, no skin off my back. And then Sony was here as well. They had a bunch of freebies with some Spider-Man stickers. There was some advice tables going on this was pretty cool this was like the recruitment section of seagraph seagraph is pretty big for recruitment as well not really what i'm here for i'm here to see the cool tech this is weta fx they again very you know popular booth they're a very big vfx company they were handing out little drawing books i was not brave enough to grab one of those i really wanted one though and they had a big line them and Riot had the biggest lines here. 
which was so funny to me. And that was because Tencent was also here. And I think it's funny that people would rather go to the Riot booth than the Tencent booth when Tencent owns Riot. Uh, and here I am, I'm braving trying to get through these lines one more time because it is just dense with people. Uh, Roblox was here across from Riot. That was unexpected. I should have grabbed a Roblox plague. I regret not getting that. I didn't know they were having bags. There's always things you see in the edit that you don't see. And then I saw this uh, Koa booth. They were specializing in lenses for VR capture, which was pretty cool. And then I stopped by the TikTok booth. They gave me some stickers and they had this little demo thing going on. And then I came across the Dell booth back here, I believe. And they had a bunch of freebies from a bunch of the attendees here. So I just came up and I grabbed some of these candies. This is Maxon uh, candies. They make uh, Cinema 4D and a bunch of other really cool tech stuff. Uh, here's a Wacom thing going on at the Dell booth. But heading on down, we come to the Sony booth. They had some racing games going on. People playing more demos here. They had some automatic lip sync they were showing off for 2D animation, which was pretty cool. And it looks like it must be pretty good if they're using it for like idols and stuff. And then I went on the inside and they had this kimono thing. I was asking them about this. I'm like, why is there a kimono here? Like, what's this significant? Like, why, why is it at a tech conference? And they were telling me that this design is a brand new design made by an algorithm and it was not possible without technology so post magazine was here and then optitrack uh this was a really cool booth wish i had gotten on these bikes but i didn't this was super i don't even know if they were letting people do it the, everyone i saw riding around was optitrack branded this was really cool and so it's like capturing his data in like 3d software up top so you can see it on the screen there so it's so cool i could imagine this being really practical for like mario kart or something uh black magic design was here they were showing off some of their multi-cam software stuff for if you're trying to run like a show wakem was here they had a whole display dedicated to old tablets and cintiqs i had that cintiq right there that well, big chunky gray one on the top left. Oh man, I fond memories, fond memories. But check these out. I didn't even know some of these existed. Uh, but there was definitely lots of tech stuff here. There's some game stuff and unions were here. This was pretty big. This is a, a conference that's more geared towards the older generation. So it's more professional more uh <laughs> there was doom i say it's professional but then they got like doom on an atari in the back here which is pretty cool shutterstock was here didn't really expect them to be here and then this was really cool these guys were doing motion capture with like the ping pong ball suits and it's capturing it in real time on that game in the back there which is super cool and they're doing some dancing here this was super rad Look at that, everyone was clapping. He was killing it, my goodness. And then there was another conference going here at the front. There was a lot more going on, but that's it for my little preview here. I got more stuff, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little tour of Seagraph. I always recommend checking out like Seagraph. It's such a cheap little convention to go check out the exhibits. It was like 35-ish dollars for a ticket to the exhibit hall, but if you pay more, you can get into a bunch of the other exhibits. This part right here is not part of any of the exhibits. This is just out in the halls. And this is like some student winners. I'm not sure what the exactly, what they're entering or what's winning here. This one was about anime auto coloring which was pretty cool and i was really into that one i'm surprised it didn't kire there was some really interesting tech pieces here because this is all just about like speculative tech software that they could be working on and i think this is meant to like draw in investors and stuff to like young talent but this is super cool super into this uh you know this is just one of the many things they offer but yeah, if you do end up getting some of the more expensive tickets, you can get into a lot of the other sections like the seminars and the 
you know, the other days, because this is like a week-long event. The exhibit is only like half of it, but there's seminars going on all week. There's lectures, there's tutorials and training and all sorts of stuff. A lot of companies pay for their workers to come here and like pick up new skills or students are coming here because they do offer student discounts. So they come in and they, you know, take like a training course. And, you know, as you can see from the recruitment side of things, people were definitely here to try and get work. But that's going to be it for today's videos, guys. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got more videos coming out. I was just at Idol Fest, so I'm going to have a video of that coming out soon. But I'll catch you in the next one.